Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at XRP and discuss what's happening. FXRP is going to retest this inclined trend line that you see here that extends all the way back to 28, 2017. Right, so it's really interesting that uh, the price is coming back to, not. I think it's already, no, the price is coming back to trend lines that extend all the way up to 2017. Right, so before we actually get into what's happening here and discuss the potential uh, bottom and where it could form, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in the crypto market, please make sure to also click on this bell icon as well. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangeko with the zero at the end. Right, so let's get back into XRP. Right, uh, XRP price has formed two very distinctive lower highs uh, extending from all the way up to 2018 Jan, right? And since then the price has formed lower highs, but none of those can be connected using a trend line. So for now, I'm just gonna draw this trend line as it is. And if you extend this trend line from the 2017 April peak uh, to the bottoms, connecting uh, <clears throat> the March 2020 bottom, the December 2020 bottom, this is when the SEC sued uh, Ripple. And now we were hovering well above this trend line here, expected uh, XRP price to kind of move back up and retest the weekly resistance level here at 0.418, but that hasn't happened yet. And so far it looks like uh, we're getting rejected by this resistance level here, if you can see this. Right, the price broke down, closed above it, bounced above it again, then we got a weekly candlestick close below that, price started going up, got rejected, another rejection and then we have a move down right so it's going to be interesting to see how the first week of july goes uh typically speaking july august july and august haven't been uh historically speaking haven't been a good uh month for returns positive returns uh and the overall q3 is has is also not a good uh, quarter for returns. So, so I'm pretty much expecting a breakdown of this uh, multi-year support level that you see here, right? Uh, but fortunately, there is this intermediate support level that I've marked here at 0.228, which is going to support XRP, right? Uh, this level pretty much supported XRP uh, in uh, September of 2020, and then the when this when SEC sued XRP or Ripple in December 2020. So, it We've, we've yet to see if the same support level is going to hold again, right? Uh, but if we get a breakdown of 0.228, there's a weekly support level here at 0.145. I believe uh, XRP price could bottom anywhere from 0.145 to 0.112. That said, I do have to mention that there are two very interesting uh, levels that you can look at. The, the first one is uh, 0 0.062, which is basically the end of the FVG that was formed when XRP price moved between twenty, between April 2017 and May 2017, right? The price rallied approximately 945% in just a month. So this massive uptrend that you saw here left uh, an inefficiency extending from, extending up to 0 0.062. So in a way, if Bitcoin heads down to 14K, I, I am expecting this gap to be filled. I feel like this, is a pretty important level here extending all the way up to 0 0.032 but again right uh you never know what the volatility is going to bring we could bottom around 0 0.062 or we could head all the way down to 0 0.09 0 0.009 and completely fill all of the inefficiencies right uh so from the current position you are looking at a 70 80 percent to 96% drop in XRP price. But I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it is something uh, that you should keep in the back of your mind because if things get ugly, uh, and when they do for crypto, it usually happens very quickly. So if they do, you should be ready to buy, uh, or you should at least know which levels to kind of buy and if, if there is a further risk of a downside move. So yeah, that pretty much uh, sums up my take for XRP from a bearish perspective. But uh, if you want to see XRP price, or if you want to say that XRP is bullish, you at least need XRP price to produce a weekly cancer close below the 200 week moving average at 0 0.49. So for me, I think uh, a weekly cancer close above 0 0.50, a whole number would be much more better than a weekly close above 0 0.491. So yeah, that is where I feel like I'm going to start to 
look for higher lows and then long XRP at those swing lows. So if you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe.